is. It's your mother trucking boy, Cuba's kid, doing what I do. And if you don't know, it's because I'm not doing you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate your axle weight on a scale that does not separate it. The scale only gives you one weight and you have to get your axle weights off of that. Okay, the reason I'm making this video is about a month ago I ran into somebody who did not know how to do this and I had to quickly uh, get this driver on and off the scale because there was a line of us waiting to get on the scale um, and just give them a rough run of it which uh, made me feel shitty afterwards I should have explained it better so that way they knew how to do it for the future okay so, you're driving onto the scale. Once again, the scale only gives you one weight. It does not split it up by axles, okay? Let's go ahead and... Uh, you're driving onto the scale, okay? First thing you want to do is just put your steers over the scale okay for this example I'm gonna use what uh, this load that I'm on currently weighs so put my steers over the scale and I'm at 11 400 okay should be about this far through the scale okay to get an accurate reading next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna drive forward further onto the scale and you're gonna want to have your drives on the scale that's gonna give you another another number okay that number for my situation came out to so I can see it 44 480 okay so now I have my two numbers you drive further onto the scale and you get a complete weight okay so all three axles are on the are on the scale now you get a complete weight of or well, this is what I got 75,920 okay now how do you tell what weighs what here okay obviously this one it's 11,400 okay to get your drive axle all you have to do is subtract 11,400 or subtract 44,48 by 11,400 okay that gave me a drive axle weight of 33,080 pounds that's what that did for me okay hopefully that makes sense and you guys understand how to do that first weight you get the steer the second weight is going to give you the weight of the truck itself so the weight of the truck minus the steers gives you the drive axle okay then you're gonna have I'm gonna go ahead and write it down here so you understand okay then you're gonna have your trailer how do you figure out what the trailer tandems are, are weighed at? The weight is at. Okay. The whole weight of the truck was the 44,480. So, 75 
920 minus the weight of the truck will give you the axles in the rear. There you go. Hopefully this is quick and easy, a nice little rundown. Hopefully it's uh, understandable. I hope you guys learned something. I hope that this wasn't, you know, this was useful. Okay, well, you know who it is. It's your mother trucking boy, Cuba's kid, doing what I do. And if you don't know, it's because I'm not doing you.